This is the next instrument that is used in ophthalmic surgery. This is referred to as the superior rectus holding forceps. Let's take a look at a few of the salient points about this instrument. First of all, let's take a look at the gripping surface. This is made of special springy stainless steel. The next point is, if you take a look at the surface which I'm holding, it, goes, it has got corrugations and ridges on its surface so as to provide a grip without slipping from my fingers. Next, if you were to look between the two prongs, we see a small projection here. This projection determines, it governs the maximum pressure that we can apply between the prongs of the forcep. Now let's come to the end of the forcep, the most important part of the forcep. We notice that it has got a double curvature. The first curvature is designed in such a way that it goes under the upper eyelid, under the superior orbital margin. Therefore, this matches the orbital margin, this curve. Let's take a look at the second curve. The second curve has been designed to go over the globe of the eye. And finally, if you were to take a look at the end of the, the tip, we see that it has got teeth inside itself. The tooth forcep is responsible for gripping the superior rectus firmly. So this is the superior rectus holding forcep, which is used to stabilize the superior rectus and the eyeball. Stay tuned for the next instrument in ophthalmic surgery.